Hello again human beings and plan to be horrified. Now a lot of you saw the last video about uh, the water quality and how toxic is your water. And I got a response from this YouTuber Dark and Fire 88 uh, which I'm very glad I did. This is a prime example of what happens when we share information. Um, I'll get to that in a minute but I'm just going to point it out now. This person was looking at the water in their area uh, and found out that chloroform was in it and it's around Fort Dix okay well first I'm really upset because there's uh, chloroform in the water supply near an army base that's very concerning to me and anyone that lives near an army base please check your water let's compile the results because our soldiers are being poisoned this is my first reaction um, Second reaction as I have my coffee and think about this before I share the information is that, wait a minute, I trained at Fort Dix in 88 in basic training and uh, I forget exactly when, maybe late 90s, early 2000, mainstream media had me convinced that Fort Dix was closed. Well, it is not. So we get two horrifying pieces of information uh, well, one horrifying, one very, very curious at the very least out of this one instance of sharing information. So first thing I want to do is bring you back to the website I showed you last night. A couple of things here. Chloroform over legal limit, okay? Uh, 80 parts per billion. So, then you scroll down to see what else is going on. I want to make note of this little... Uh, deception I call it the violation category now if you look at my video from last night early this morning whatever it was uh, the Kentucky uh, statistics just list out the violations here it's concealed there's only one it's not like there's an, a massive amount of data and it won't fit on the page there's just one maximum containment level monthly coliform bacteria so let's first let's handle that because we're here now coliform more precisely they are evidence of recent human fecal contamination of water supplies okay so we have shit going into the water supply at Fort Dix which I thought was closed it is not Common name now is JBMDL Dix, short for Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst Dix. Okay, the, uh, it's the combination, and it was uh, 2009, I guess. Um, that's being used I as a hub for our reservist, etc. So, you know, I think we all know Wikipedia, you know, enough there. It gives you the history and. Uh, mission realignment see it wasn't closed there was a mission realignment it's still active and going and doing its thing just at a different capacity so if you were under the mainstream media impression that Fort Dix or other bases were actually closed um, you might want to research that because you're probably wrong at that assumption okay moving along chloroform why does that matter this is uh, disturbing, okay? It's uh, several million tons are produced annually as a precursor to Teflon in refrigerants, but its use for refrigerants is phased out. And again, we all know Wikipedia. We can find out where it grows, uh, when it was discovered, what the chemical uh, description is, yada, yada, yada. Um, we can find out that it was used as an anesthetic but then st uh, banned in the United States under the safety where is it I saw it uh, I want to say it was here sorry folks I haven't even finished my second cup of coffee but I wanted to get this out and I did read this fully um, just in case you're wondering Okay, well you can read it for yourself, but I'm telling you it's been banned. Um, it uh, is known to cause miscarriage in laboratory rats and stuff. Yeah, animal studies shown miscarriages in rats and mice. 
Uh, and now this is for breathing. It used to be in toothpaste. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. It has been banned as a consumer product in the United States since 1976. Okay. Um, it's still being sold in the UK. Cough syrups containing chloroform can still legally be purchased in pharmacies and supermarkets in the UK. So big heads up to the UK. Your cough syrup is killing you. Anyway. Um, there's other horrible stuff in here that it does. Causes lesions. It turns to phosgene over time. Uh, when it's prolonged storage in the presence of oxygen, it converts slowly to phosgene. To prevent accidents, commercial chloroform is stabilized with ethanol or amylene. Um, I've used amylene uh, as a tool cleaner. Uh, it's, it's horrible stuff. Uh, it's all horrible stuff. But the point of all this is, is that, okay, our soldiers <laughs> are drinking toxic chemicals that, that have been banned from use and, and are known to cause reproductive harm. Uh, if you read through this Wikipedia that I'll, I'll link you to, um, it, it is related to lesions, liver damage, heart failure. Uh, it is really... I mean, we don't want anybody drinking this shit, but it's being served to our soldiers? Really? Now, this raises the question with me. What happens when you combine chloroform with other things that may be within someone's body, and you, you add the fact that about half of our military now are on some type of prescription drug mostly antidepressants and pain medication the chemicals that are there see I'm not a biologist but common sense tells me we've got a cocktail brewing um, in our soldiers and we know that when we take chemicals into our body one of the first results before any kidney failure or heart damage or anything else is a change of the way we think our mind is changed right that's why we used to take acid because we wanted to change our mind right so what's going on in the minds of the soldiers and just what else are, are they being subjected to how many people get up in the morning and say let me check my regular water report uh, nobody nobody and this is part of the reason I say we gotta get off our asses and take responsibility because really um, it, the government and its subsidiaries have proven over and over again that they cannot be trusted. And even when they put the information online for you to find, they're going to do it in a way that you're probably not going to find it or bother looking because they know you're lazy. How do they know they're lazy? Because they've poisoned the water supply with things to make you lazy. So anyway, big shout out to Dark and Fire 88. Thanks. Uh, just with that little bit of uh, information, you know, we, we see a, a whole new thing. And uh, the fact that a military base is still fully active when the mainstream media had me convinced uh, that it was decommissioned, not being used, basically a storage facility. No, that's not true either. So, good information. Uh, the link to the chloroform here, Wikipedia. You know what? I'm not even giving you any links. How's that? I'm not. I give you all links all day long. Some of you research them as this person did. But I want to see everybody else get off their ass. I want you to Google, or, or not Google, but use Dogpile. You see? Dogpile. It's great. Great little search engine. Use Dogpile and search chloroform. Okay? Spend some time take some responsibility get off your fucking asses cuz time is short anyway hate to be rude first thing in the morning but again I'm not even through my second cup of coffee our soldiers are being poisoned the sheep love it Obama's trampling our Constitution I I'm ready to fucking snap uh, and do some fucking research is all I'm saying